Hi folks, welcome. Uh, I think it's Tuesday 2nd of June. I'm just here uh, on the wheel. I'm actually short of uh, tankards. So I'm in the process of making some more. So I just, this is what, this is what we're doing. This is a, a tankard, this particular one with uh, an incised uh, repeat decoration around the outside with wood ash with wood ash spray sprayed over so before we get straight into that I'll just show you um, some other things that I've been doing just following on from the last clip really um, these are some of those uh, pots that we slipped in the the red iron oxide I've cleaned up the decor the the wax resist a little and other in other places I've just left it I've just left it as it as is as it were so you know trying to strike a compromise between uh, completely cleaning it up and or, and then just leaving it also uh, somewhat natural as it as it came out of the bucket you know so yeah yeah and then we um, in fact this particular pot here got a bit soft down at the base down here where my thumb is and I had to turn it upside down and just rectify it that is something to watch when you are slipping raw pots the pots can take on a lot of uh, moisture and um, can can sag if you know what I mean these are some other pots that we made down at the Milheim uh, festival that that we went down to I had my wheel down there these are now these guys I made in the street but they're I, th I finished them here uh, back in the studio today these are these are all um, kind of leather hard now really I suppose or even a little bit be beyond the leather hard stage this is a paddled piece I have a paddle and I paddle it this was a bowl um, yeah difficult to see again here n another this is another piece that is is paddled I have a couple of I have a variety of different kinds of paddles this is one which is, has a star, I have a star paddle and I have also like a uh, crisscross paddle. Okay, just thought I'd just quickly show you that. But, over here I'm all set up, as you can see I've got my, my gauge set here. And I've got my, my lumps of clay wrapped up here. So let's carry on and we'll throw one or two of these according to how much battery I've got left on this thing and um, okay bring it in a little bit I'll sort of I know I've done these before with you lots of times but repeating is the name of the game isn't it <laughs> if you're a repeat potter I'll do one from this angle then I'll change the camera around to a different place okay let's go so, these are a pound of clay. Yeah, I've got my mirror set up. That's the third one I've had. The, the third lump that I've had that has had air bubbles in it. <laughs> it doesn't say much for your kneading, Simon, does it? And your wedging. No, yes it doesn't. 
I must have um, I must have trapped a bit of air in there somehow. But if you do get an air bubble, it's it's not difficult to deal with it. If you just need your needle tool and you just prick it a couple of times or three times. Once to the left, once in the middle and once on the other side of, of the air bubble. And then just squeeze it and the air will, will leave the bubble. So, yeah. Um, these are thrown fairly thinly actually because they're f I throw them almost five and a half inches high and um, so I'm exercising myself a bit to get to get the clay up there to get it you know but of course that's what's so helpful about working to a gauge because the gauge the gauge gives you something to aim at doesn't it gives you something to aim for it's, it encourages you, it, it says, come on, just a little further, just a little further up, you know. And you see, because of that, you make the extra effort to get it up there, and as a result, you learn a new trick or two about your throwing and how to do it. So the gauge is an absolutely wonderful thing to, to use to to hone your skills and to distribute the clay. It teaches you to distribute the clay, you see. Because without the gauge, what would you do? You'd sort of say, well, okay, that's good enough. That's good enough. You see, it's... And you sell yourself short. You sell yourself short by not... by not taking it just that little bit further, just thinning out the clay just that little bit more. So this shape, you see, uh, is a little bit narrower at the top than it is down at the bottom. Down at the bottom here, it's a little wider. Okay, throwing stick, putting in the throwing stick, always remember put in a bevel at the bottom, an undercut bevel, you know what I mean? Because we don't, these are not trimmed you see, we don't trim these. What, Simon, you don't trim? My instructor told me I, every pot I make has got to be trimmed. <laughs> well, you were lied to. <laughs> Sponge stick, useful thing. Get down there, clean the water out, you see. And don't forget, don't forget to leather the pot with your chamois. Alright. Cut off wire. This is a twisted cut off wire. Alright. Clean the wire. Slow the wheel down and just straight through like that. Okay. Wipe off hands. Cut the pot around like this. Don't use your fingertips. Use the palms of your hands. Use your whole hand like this. You'll find that he'll come off quite easily, you see. Put him down there like that. Next to his brother. Next to his brother. Okay, let's see if we can... If we run out of battery, folks, and the, and the video stops, all right, well, you know why. Let's just quickly, I'll just show you these that we've made. 
these you see you see how the the gauge will give you give you the same height give you cons that's the consistency you see that you we all need you can train yourself you see to by by practicing <laughs> practice okay we'll, we'll, we'll try it from there if we run out of battery I'll say it now keep practicing <laughs> Today's a really dull day and it's cold. We've had incredibly humid, hot weather for the last three weeks, no rain. And now we've had rain and it's really cooled off. So it's kind of like I'm inside here, the doors are shut, and um, we're, we're sort of just about keeping warm. Yeah, open up the clay and open them up quite wide, you see, before you, you lift. You'll find that that will help you. And then as you see, I'm lifting, I'm lifting, going up the volcano, you see, like this. All right? Think of him as a little volcano. And just lift the clay upwards and inwards. And just maintain that volcanic form. Can you see the smoke? <laughs> yeah, so I'm, I'm heading for the gauge, you see. I'm heading for the goal. Yeah, it's like, it's like playing soccer and having a goal to aim at, you see. Keep him in at the top, don't let him get, don't let him go wide. Yeah, we were up to the gauge now, you see. I've got the height. He's a little bit slender though, isn't he, in the, in the waist there, a bit too slender. Going stick. Clean that away down the bottom there. Give him a nice undercut. That's why you need this angle, you see. Get in there. Now use the side of the, of the throwing stick as a rib just to clean off that excess slurry. You see, we want to get rid of that because. That makes the pot slippery and then you can't pick it up. See, some people can't pick up pots because they're no one's taught them how to do it. And they use these kind of props and crutches like these bats with square things in that they throw the pot and then they lift that out, you see. But, you know, you want to do away with all those things. They're just hindrances. Okay. Leather. Just a little bit more there. All right. Cut off wire, clean the wire as you take it and then slow down the wheel and straight through. That's it. Are we still running? Are we still running? Whoa, we are. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna put him down just over there. Okay, wipe hands. Clasp the pot, all right, and put him down. See, he's easy. He's easy to lift off. If you 
if you do the preparatory work, cleaning your hands, cleaning the pot, you have a decent, a decent cut-off wire. A, a twisted wire is better because it gets air in underneath the clay, underneath the pot, and that enables you to, to lift it, you see. There's nothing worse, is there, than like a pot you try and lift off, you cut it off, and then you go to try and lift it, and it sort of, like, uh, sticks itself sticks itself back down again. Ha! Huh. So... Cheers. <laughs> yeah, we've got these. I've now got a, an Etsy shop, and if you go to my Etsy shop, which is the actual gallery that I have on my website, um, it's sort of embedded on the, in the website. You should see some of these. There are a few left now, but I've got I'm, there's more to come. And we've got other pots up there, so please go and have a look. Uh, maybe something that you like there. Um, we are running workshops here. We have a workshop here on the June 13th and 14th. And then I think July 11th and 12th. So check the website. You'll see, you'll see dates there. If there's a date there that fits in with your schedule then then and you'd like to come then come along you know we've still got some spaces and um, what else can I say well I'll say it keep practicing <laughs> hang on in there have a go at this have a go at repeat throwing these are a pound and they're five nearly five and a half they're about five and three eighths inches tall and um, and I'll see you next time. Hey, take care. Bye-bye.